Welcome to a new type of video, I guess I'll say. From the title, you can pretty much guess this is a devlog. It's not gonna be like usual, where I just showcase a project. I'm gonna be trying to, over the course of, I don't know how long it will take, to develop a fully fledged game. So what I'm aiming for is a kind of basic Call of Duty zombies experience. I don't wanna reinvent the wheel, I just wanna see how far I can push my abilities as a game dev. So the reason I'm making this a devlog and not just simple showcases is because I actually want to hold myself to a standard and make it so that I constantly upload and share progress so that I don't just abandon the project as I move forwards. At this current point in time, the project is about a week or two old, maybe a bit less, and it only has kind of basic mechanics. So I'm going to give a very rapid showcase and explanation of what I've been doing Right now in the background, you can see some blueprints I was working on earlier today for the project itself with an interacting system for traps and different objects. So although I'm working on a devlog now and an actual game, I don't want to stop what I've been doing up until now because I really enjoy working on different projects at the same time. Uh, as for the tutorials, if anybody's interested throughout the devlog and wants to know how to do something in particular, they can always feel free to ask. And if it's interesting, I might make a tutorial out of it. For instance, currently I'm still working on the laser tutorial. I'm working on a bonus chapter for everything that's visual sound design and making it more nice to look at, let's say. And that will hopefully be coming out by sometime next week as it's a bit longer than the other ones. So you'll have to bear with me a bit longer during that part. So with that introduction out of the way, let's get straight into the devlog. So like any good devlog, let's start off with a character controller. I started with the first person template, so I didn't have to do much work. I started by adding a sprint, implementing the crouching, and then added a basic slide. For the slide mechanic, I wanted to make sure it was as close as possible to something realistic. So I wanted to make sure I took into account verticality of the slope that you're sliding down. So there's friction and all that taken into account and you can't slide uphill or at least very little if it's not too steep. Here you can see the actual different types of slopes that could be encountered to see if the sliding works. And as you can see, you slide down pretty easily. The next thing that needed to be implemented would obviously be the weapons. So I followed up with a very basic weapon system with firing, but also reloading. I also made sure if you shoot until no more ammunition is left, it will reload automatically. I also implemented a very basic aim down sight, which just simply moves the actor with a timeline. And then I went and made a power up for points and also for filling ammunition. I then went and made a basic interaction system, which is set up here for a trap which will inflict damage to the player so I could check health depletion and regeneration. Next up is the shooting range. For the shooting range, I have a basic pawn that just takes damage and does nothing else. But also thanks to the interaction system I set up before, we have wall buys for two different weapons. With the mouse wheel, we can then swap between two different weapons easily or even a third weapon. Swapping between weapons also updates the HUD with the ammunition. As you might have noticed with the weapons, I started fiddling around with a very basic recoil system, which is the first time using curves for me. Each weapon has its own curve, which I then call from a data table to inform each weapon how to be used. For the shotgun, I had to make some modifications to the basic weapons, as, as you'd guess, it doesn't shoot a straight line. So thanks for sticking through to the end. This is going to be the end of the first devlog. It's pretty short because, well, it's not much work and not much to showcase. But hopefully for the next one, we'll have more interesting stuff to share. And if you have any feedback, feel free to let me know in the comments so that I can make the next one better. If you're interested in the laser tutorial, keep an eye out. It should be coming out sometime this week or next week. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video, be it devlog or tutorial.